Once, this city ruled over vast lands. Long before Christ, this land of a thousand stone henges, this now sleepy Pueblo town from a Clint Eastwood movie was the center of the world and run by the Margaret Thatcher of her time, the Queen of Sheba. About 3,000 years ago, here in the royal city of Axum, the Queen of Sheba walked down these steps with her handmaidens to take a bath here in her personal bath, not in the mucky water that you see here today, but in ass's milk, because she was a, a bit of a babe, apparently, and wanted to preserve her skin, especially because she was bound on a long journey across Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, for Jerusalem, where King Solomon, who was without doubt the coolest guy in the world at that point, lived. I'll read from a contemporary account of their meeting. It so happened that King Solomon fostered a desire to know the Queen of Sheba as man and woman. They partook of the rich and delicious dishes and drank to their heart's content until daylight turned to darkness. At last, the Queen of Sheba rose to leave for her palace, but the king bade her stay the night at his palace, for it was a late hour for her to take herself off. She accepted the invitation, but first made him take a vow not to dishonor her with the use of force. He readily agreed to this, but on condition that she should reciprocate with an oath not to take anything from his palace without his leave. She scoffed at the insinuation, but consented to the condition. They then retired to sleep, their beds having been placed on opposite sides of the royal chamber. In the middle of the night, the queen woke from a deep slumber, feeling thirsty because of the over-seasoned food she had consumed. She moved slowly towards the jar of water, which the king had deliberately ordered to be placed at his bedside. Tss, nah, nah. The instant she took hold of the container, Solomon, who had pretended to sleep, caught her arm and reminded her that she had broken her word. She said the oath didn't apply to water, but the king answered that there was nothing on earth more precious than water. <laughs> 